Hey guys, I'm Maggie Furlong. I love TV just as much as you do, but I actually get paid to watch it. I'm the showgirl. Thanks to my job, I've had the pleasure of meeting and chatting with some of the biggest stars in the business. But sometimes being so TV obsessed has some crazy side effects. Like last night, I had the strangest dream. I was somewhere I've never been before, and Man vs. Wild host Bear Grylls was there. Where are we going? Northern Canada. Perfect. Up to the Arctic. Perfect. Big mountains, always fun. Oh god, it's cold. Got your jacket? No. <laughs> no, no, no vibe. Okay, maybe somewhere hot. Where to? Desert island. Mm, yeah, yeah, I like mm. that, I like that. Okay, I'll catch the fish, you eat the sushi. Love it. So okay. Easy. And then we'll go to the jungle where you won't like the food. What's in the jungle? Where's the jungle? Mm, snakes. How are you with snakes? Vegetarian. Mm. Desert? Mm. You like deserts? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you haven't been to them. <laughs> Palm Springs. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Listen, trust me, <laughs> deserts suck. Well, then let's go to Palm Springs. Yeah, let's go to Palm Springs. I wish it wasn't just a dream. One day, I'm going to get out of this studio and actually get to meet Bear Grylls for real. One day. What? A 24 fan wrote in with a question about season eight. I love 24, but after seven seasons, what's left for Jack Bauer to do? Season eight, rumored to be the show's final season, takes place in New York. And you can expect plenty of the same edge of your seat action you've come to know and love from Jack Bauer, Chloe, and the CTU gang. There are also some familiar faces returning, like Gregory Itzen, who will reprise his role as former president, Charles Logan. And they've even got a few new cast members, sure to shake things up. I talked with newbies Anil Kapoor and Freddie Prince Jr. to get the scoop on what they'll bring to this show. As I play uh, a leader, president of a country who comes to the United States of America on a, on, a, on a peace mission. His name is Cole Ortiz. He's the head of field ops. That's the position that Jack Bauer held in season one. Uh, he's a New Yorker, which is where the show takes place this year. It gives it sort of an extra character. I got a sexy fiance. I got Starbuck. I was a fan of Battlestar. I told her that. Josh in Nashua, New Hampshire wants to know, do you think Rachel Bilson is How I Met Your Mother's Mother? Well, Josh, back in October when it was revealed that Miss Bilson would be guest starring for the show's big 100th episode, fans were split about what they wanted her to be. And so am I. Now I have to admit, the cast and creators of the show have told me that the 100th episode will be a very mother-heavy story. And yes, Rachel Bilson and Ted Mosby would make a pretty cute couple but I just don't see it being that easy. A little birdie did tell me that the mother is the roommate of a girl that Ted starts dating. And while he may not meet her in this particular episode, he will be in her apartment. They've steered me wrong before though, so I guess, like always, we'll just have to wait and see. As for the rest of the 100th episode, suit up for Barney's sure to be legendary musical number. Neil Patrick Harris told me it'll be a good one. Chicks versus suits, yeah. I think 75 dancers, lots of choreography, lots of singing. Sort of like a musical number from Hair, you know, one of those exuberant kind of raspy, high singing voice numbers, so. With nudity. With lots and lots of nudity. Next week, I'm taking a little holiday vacation, but I'll be back on January 1st to recap my favorite moments of 09 and look ahead to the big TV happenings of 2010. In the meantime, get your TV fix at tv.aol.com. You can also follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the Showgirl podcast on iTunes. I'm Maggie Furlong, the Showgirl.